It's so clear. Me too. It's lovely getting the hang of it. It's only taken uh, three years. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So, uh, watch out for the divers. We've got divers, we've got stand up paddle boarders. There's not even any swell. Great snorkeling. We're in Pembrokeshire again. We've been climbing hard on the Gower for two days and we've got really sore fingers and thin skin and sore shoulders and yeah, everything. So we are going to complete the paddle that we didn't manage to complete a few weeks ago because of the wind. We're at Stackpole Quay. We're going to go around past Barrafundal, have a noodle in all the rocks around there, go to Stackpole Head, go through the cave there. It was pretty windy and swelly last time. And then we're going to come back and then we're going to go out to Freshwater East, look at the caves over there just to see what happens, you know? Just chill out and have a bob. It is no fun today. There is no wind and no swell and it is super flat. <laughs> no fun. Okay, let's do it. This is Kim's favourite weather. All right. Hey, uh, Wow, it's much quicker to paddle to Barrafundal than walk. No. Well, you can go in here. Oh, there's a... There's an underwater tunnel there. Very. Never know till you go in what you're going to find, do you? Yeah. They look like just little cracks from outside, don't they? They go in, they just keep going. So we said to the kids, uh, we're going to go to Pembroke on Saturday again. Weather looks amazing, flat calm, no wind. We'll either go kayaking or if you want to come, we'll go on the beach, in the sea, snorkeling, that sort of thing. They, they, they didn't want to. And I, that's another thing I want to do is I just want to spend all day <laughs> snorkeling around this, just floating around here, floating around this coastline. It looks amazing. It is amazing. You see all the little fish fry. There's some big cliffs. And these aren't even the big cliffs. Oh yeah, 
No way. Or are we gonna get wedged? Didn't even twig that this was here when we looked at it from the beach. And this is at low tide. Hey pigeon. I know. <laughs> Millions of fish. Always good. You're feeling a little seasick, but only when you're looking down. It's as flat as it gets, it's the looking down thing that gets a head position. Come back tomorrow and go snorkeling. I can't. I've got things. I'm glad we're making the most of Pembrokeshire this year, though, because we this is the first time we've done this. We've done day trips, and we will. We'll, we'll, we'll drag at least one of the kids with us and say, "Look at this! It's amazing! Enjoy it, or else." See, if I get one of those, then we can like camp here for like long weekends and stuff on the boat, right? And do all water stuff in the summer. Yeah. There's some light coming through under there. Okay. To swim under there. Swim through there. Mm. Oh, you can get through there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You going in? Oh, that goes back away. There's stack head there we still have to go around a bit to see the actual end of the head and the caves that you paddle through that I paddled through last time I think there's no point in us touring with kayaks because it'll take us so long to get anywhere because we're new we're looking at everything which is three quarters of the point of kayak look at these shapes Curve of that rock. You can almost feel the pressure that squeezed it up.
supplementary exams next week. Um, so one of the most stressful weeks of the year for everybody involved. It's not the students feel it really hard because you know there's a lot riding on these supplementary exams. Being with the whole COVID thing, everything's even a little bit harder this year. But it's tough on the staff as well because we worry about our students. We want we want them to do well, but they have to get over the hurdle of the assessment to show that they should progress, right? So I am trying to make the most of my summer and chill out as much as I can in amongst these periods of high stress <sighs> before it all starts again. Look at the size of that cave. I wonder if we'll get any autumn. We're planning to come climbing here in the autumn. I wonder if we'll get any autumn paddling done. Oh Lord, what? I'm looking up so high, I'm tipping myself out of my boat. Mmm, really smells of the sea. This has got to be a, a hidden dwarven door into the mountain, right? Got to be. It's too obvious not to be. But I don't know the secret dwarvish way to get in. Well, she's so confident she's gone off without me into the tide that's running around the head. Nice. Because I was looking in that case. Stackpole head. Yeah. Big cave and then there's another one further round I think isn't there? It is a lot calmer on this side than it was last time. The wind's actually blowing from the other side today. So there's the smaller hole, that was the bigger hole. What do you want to do? Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Do you want to go through the little one and back through the big one? A little bit of a swell out here, which is nice. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, so good. Is where we were climbing oh, last South. week. Broadhaven South. Yeah, Broadhaven South is over there, and the Kirk, sorry, the Church Rock, right and there. see, look, she says things like "nice boat out there." Give us a few years, we'll have a sailboat, I think. Well, seal. seal. I love being able to hear a seal breathe because it means you're that close and you're that quiet and you're not disturbing anything. I've done it with otters as well. <laughs> I've been close enough to otters you can hear them snuffling and uh, scruffling with each other. There he is. <laughs> I think he's lounging in the sun. I think he's done the same as us. He's found a nice, calm, sunny spot to just have a layer out in.
Rock. What's up? Stack pokey. So now we'll go have a look at that coastline as far as we feel like. Big stack, a mini stack. Feels a bit Jurassic over here. This is nice. Oh, a little rope under there. Rope. Tiny little secluded beachy bay. Pretty. The sandstone has been worn so smoothly to the bottom. Colours are cool. And I get through here. Mm, yeah, yeah. Much less dramatic over here, but different feel, really nice. That's funky. Freshwater East. Freshwater East. There you go, Freshwater East, that's our destination. Do you want to get out and stretch your legs?